Okpo in South Korea. In 1592, the scene of a great naval battle when the Koreans whop the Japanese good and proper. These days, the site of a whopping great four million square meter shipyard. Okpo is a town of only 200,000 souls, but they managed to build an awful lot of big ships, thanks to a very clever method of shipbuilding. In the olden days, you'd get a big, ugly, dry dock and a load of Geordies, and they'd all muck in and spend a year building a ship, starting at the bottom and working their way up. But in Okpo, they all split up. One lot make all the fronts, another lot make the middles, and another lot make all the captain's cabins and so on. What's more, they make lots of fronts and lots of middles. So they don't just end up making one big ship a year, they can make over 50. This being Korea, the day starts with a dockside disco. In the old days, there used to be a big bit of paper with a picture of a ship on it, and also some mugs of tea to stop it blowing away. These days, there's a supercomputer. The computer has wisely chopped up the ship into bite-sized chunks. It then sends this information to the robotic cutters, which live in a series of neighboring workshops. The cutters do the opposite of welding. They slice out the right shapes from great plates of steel, like a tailor making a bespoke suit. Each bit is marked to make sure it doesn't end up in the wrong place. And then all the bits are carried off under orders from the computer to be assembled. Connecting the bits is the job primarily of an army of little green welding robots. These fellows work fast and work accurately. But for all their digital dexterity, there are some parts the robots just can't reach. And for them, there's some expert human backup. Small bits are attached to bigger bits, which are attached to bigger bits still. Until you have a chunk of ship which looks like the picture on the computer screen. They are like giant bits of Lego, and now it's time to stick them together. Now, as any DIYer who's tried to put bookshelves together will tell you, it's one thing to measure everything very precisely and then cut all the bits with brilliant accuracy. It's quite another to put the damn thing together. The main thing you need is to know what you're doing. Each ship is made up of 85 separate blocks, each weighing about 400 tonnes. So, if anything, it's even harder than Lego to put together. Each of the blocks is ferried from its workshop on a giant transporter. Each transporter has a fella on a bicycle warning old people and stupid British camera crews to get out of the way. Then, when they've finally got all 85 humongous bits in one place, they start to put a ship together. Since each bit weighs many hundreds of tons, they need some serious muscle. This is provided by the most almighty crane imaginable. This Goliath is a towering 120 meters high. That's like two and a half Nelson's columns. And 150 meters wide. That's like half an Eiffel Tower on its side. And it can lift up to 600 tons. That's like three and a bit jumbo jets. Its job is to lug all the various bits of ship into the right position. In fact, it works across a large area, making five ships at once. It's a truly enormous machine and a massively impressive operation. The 85 giant slabs of ship are attached and welded. And another massive vessel is ready to go to sea.